everyone, I'm Michelle, I'm back, and I've got Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for the month of August. Um, a little bit about Ipsy, it is $25 a month, you get five full-size products, and I don't know the value, did I look at that? I, don't, I can't remember, I look at this every time and then I forget, but it's pretty comparable to BoxyCharm, BoxyCharm is... I think they say 100 up to 140 or 100 at least 140 dollar value, Blech. and then it's four to five. I don't know if Ipsy. I'll I'll try to look, but it's somewhere in there, you know. Um, they also have regular Ipsy, and did I say this is 25 dollars a month? Boxycharm is 21. Okay, but we're not doing Boxycharm. <laughs> I'm just trying to confuse everyone. Yeah. So um, they have a regular Ipsy bag where you get. A, a cute little bag every month. <laughs> I know I have one somewhere. Well, I'll show you in the next, in the Ipsy Glam Bag video. Um, you don't receive a bag in this one, even though called, they call it a Glam Bag Plus. But in the regular Ipsy, it's only $10 a month, and you get five uh, deluxe and sample size? Is that what it is? No, five deluxe size. I think it's five deluxe size for 10 bucks. And I found out you can actually go back and forth. So, I signed up for both because I've had the Glam Bag for years and years and years, and so I wanted the Glam Bag Plus. Now, I guess if you don't want both, but maybe you want, maybe you want the Glam Bag, but every once in a while you want to splurge or there's some products you want, and so you want to get the Plus, I guess you can go back and forth. You can upgrade it to the Plus and then go back to the just regular bag, or you can have both. Um, so that's pretty cool. I heard them talking about that recently, uh, just the other day on their Instagram stories. It's called IG stories, right? I feel old. So, yeah, okay. Um, I'm still learning. <laughs> I'm not that old, but I'm old. Okay, anyways. Uh, what was I gonna say? <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We will open this one up. And when you open her up, uh, this is what you get. Here's a little sneak peek. It says, don't be pretty like them, be pretty like you, which I love that every month. I swear I want to put that on something on the wall. And there's usually a card. Here we go. This month it says, August 2019th, bear yourself. And so, and then in the card it has a list of all the products that they have inside the bag. The bag. The box. It's, it's a box. Okay, with it, Michelle. Um, also, you can, they customize it. If I didn't mention that, you do like a profile. They, um, and they ask you a bunch of questions. Your skin tone, your likes, your dislikes, do you like colorful, do you like, you know, whatever. Everything, you know, if there's products you absolutely hate, never want to receive products you absolutely love. And then they customize it to you, which I love. And they always have like, I don't know, like 40 different products and you get five of them. So it's very, very cool. Everyone's gonna get something different versus like BoxyCharm, let's say. I don't know how many variations, but I wanna say they have like five or six or maybe 10, I don't know. But they don't have that many variations. And when I watch the unboxing videos for BoxyCharm, I see they have like, most people get about the same and like one product's a little different here and there. Not that I'm bashing it because I love BoxyCharm. I love them both for different reasons. I have them both, I love them both, I wanna keep them both, so, but it's just a little different. Anyways, if you want to sign up for Ipsy or if you're interested in looking into it, I will put a link down below. Um, usually they give you a, I think you get a discount. I'm not sure how, I know I get some, like I get a credit to for products or something like that, or I get a discount if you use that link, um, and then, I think you get a discount too. I'm not 100% sure. I can't remember. Um, it's been a while since someone signed up under me. Or it's not under me. They just use my ref It's just a referral link. It's not like a um, anything else. Nothing, but okay. I'm done babbling on. I've spent four minutes, over four minutes babbling. So let's get into the box before I lose everybody that I haven't lost already. So first thing we have here is, ooh, beautiful brushes. I guess I can show you. By Farah. And it says, be beautiful, be you. These are so cute. I love brushes. And I've had, I think I've had one or two Farrah brushes and I liked them before. Oops, come on. These are so stinking cute. Okay, look at these. They're like um, icicles or something. I 
aren't those pretty? They've got like different little grooves and stuff. And then we've got, oh, and this is the brand Farrah. And then let's see, this one is a, it's kind of hard to read. This is the 35EM Mini Tapered. We've got the 65EM Mini Shading, this guy right here. We have the 10F Concealer. I don't use these all that often, personally, the concealer brushes. We have the 15E e, e Angled Brow. And then the last one is the 105E Pencil. Wow, these are really cute. I mean, they're, it's just like a, it's a plastic and to be, let's see, I'm trying to compare. They're not like super light. I feel like compared to like um, Luxie brushes, they're similar. They are a little light, but not. I've had some that are like super, super light before. And they are a little shorter. Look at the difference in the length. Um, ooh, <laughs> that is the second time I've hit my elbow. This time I did not get my funny bone though. So those are cute. I still like them. They're really cute. And if there's one I don't use, my daughter likes to steal them. She's two year old and an inspiring makeup artist. <laughs> she likes to get into things and dip her fingers in put them all over her face or take a big brush into the eyeshadow pans and go like this. It's fun. Okay. So then the next thing we have here is, Ooh, Tarte, Tarte high perform. Okay. Let's see. Dream big Amazonian clay palette. So I feel like it, this is double duty beauty. What's the color or what's the, Oh, in dream big. You can see that. Um, I'm going to try to open this nice and carefully just in case I don't end up using it. Okay. Oh, I like the package. It's cute. And then when you open it, it's, that's really cute. I'm not much of a gold person. Oh, there's my, there's the outside <laughs> reflection. Um, and then when we open her up, oh, it's got a nice little mirror. Whoops. These are the colors. Let's see. These are cute. All right, let's swatch those. Let me get a, a wipe. I should have had, I should have been prepared. I'm sorry. I'm not the most prepared person. I do have to say, I have to confess. And I have stuff on my hands. Okay, so let's swatch these. Um,. This is it, all in and go for it. Oh, I forgot I have swatches from the last video I just recorded <laughs> on my arm. Okay, well, sorry, this is just who I am. <laughs> hopefully you don't, hopefully you're like me, because I swear, I'm, yeah, we're, uh, never mind. I'm just babbling. <laughs> okay, so um, this is it, wow. That's very pigmented. I did not expect that. That is this color right here. I honestly did not expect it to be that much of a payoff. Um, this is all in. I like that. And go for it. Okay, now that one. Let me try that one again. Okay. That one feels a little, well, a little chalky, but that's okay. That's definitely probably one I'd have to, like, you have to build it up little by little. I probably would just like dip my brush in it and try to put it on and look horrible because I probably do it wrong. Okay, and then we got, got, then we have You Can, it's pretty, Happening. Let me do that one again. I like that purple. I don't wear a lot of purple, but I'm kind of liking purple lately. It, it doesn't, it's showing, it, it is a purple, even though it kind of looks different on screen. And then this is Hustle. I never wear colors like this, like a black with a um, shimmer in it. And then we've got, then we have, I'm trying to talk correctly, but you know, it doesn't always work. Ooh, it's a nice soft um, color when I dip into the pan. Then we have Ambitious right here. 
that's the neutral color that looks like my skin and wrist taker that's really pretty too so I mean I'm not too thrilled I probably won't use this black with the shimmer but and I don't I mean the brown you can always use a good brown but I really like the other colors those are cute so that was the palette this month I like that they fit a lot in here too because sometimes you get like a small palette like this and it what that had uh, three six seven eight eight colors I've gotten some like that before and it only has like four and I like having like a nice not variety but well yeah variety having options so I like that they really used all the space in there and then let's dig in here we've also have a Ahava hydration cream mask which I have a lotion sitting over there on my counter by Ahava it smells so good um I don't think let's see this is infused with wait hydration cream mask powered by Osmotor Osmotor infused and nourished thirsty skin with this active hydrating mask a rich creamy texture softens and smooths skins to providing intense hydration comfort and comfort apply once to twice a week rinse after three to five minutes so it's just a, a mask mask do I have this I don't I feel like I might I don't think I'm gonna open it because I do have quite a few masks and we've got one I'm not looking in the box because I you know, want to be surprised Let's see, next we have Suva Beauty Liquid Chrome Illuminating Drops. Now, I don't use these all that often, and it's in the color Trust Fund. Baby. I have some illuminating drops by um, Laura Geller. I don't know how to use them right. I mean, sometimes I'll put it like on the high points of my face and stuff before I put foundation but then it seems like once I put the foundation it just covers it and, and my foundation is very light so I don't know um ooh but that's different see these ones are pink this one I just got is a gold it's a very pretty heavy duty like nice packaging that's very nice I guess we'll open it up it's a different color so Let's see. And this is what they look like. I guess I can show you on my skin. I feel like I'm going to drip all over the place. Okay. It's like a thicker formula than the other ones I have. I don't know why I smelt it. Okay. Wow. Look at that. Is it? Maybe I was only supposed to use like one drop? Oh my goodness. Now I feel like this might be a good option. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna try like the tiniest little drop now. And I'm gonna, oh, that wasn't super tiny. On this hand, and let's see if I can blend it out better. Okay, that's probably better than this. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Those are nice. Now that I've got a mess all over me. Um, has anyone tried the Suba? I haven't tried anything from Suba Beauty. Um, and do you have any tips for me on using the drops? I don't know. Are you supposed to put them over your foundation? I feel like it doesn't work right when I've done that, but I could be doing something wrong. Or do you put them under your foundation? Um, I don't know. I'm kind of at a loss. I need, I need help. I need help. Anyone can help. Okay. Let's get the last product down here. And I just realized I haven't been telling you the prices. So I will do that then. We've got, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm excited about this one. It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation Full Coverage Moisturizer SPF 50 Plus. I don't know why I said that part. <laughs> and in the color light, because I am light. Um, okay, so let's look this up since I just realized. So the It Cosmetics, see the only thing is, is I'm not much of a full coverage girl. I like to see like freckles and I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm weird, I like that. Um, but I do like to cover up imperfections too. So 
This says it was developed with derm dermatologists. This foundation helps you put your best face forward with a pro 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 <laughs> proprietary <laughs> sorry, 3D Skin Flex technology with lightweight formula covers imperfections while giving you an even natural looking finish. This is what it looks like. I don't know. Um, apply one to two pumps to clean skin, blending outward from the center of your face. Since it's super moisturizing, it can be used on top of or in place of skincare products. Okay, I did. Wait a minute, I still got some. I thought I washed my hand, but I still got some. I, I had a lot of that, those drops. Let's try this out. This is something I don't get very often in any boxes. It's like foundation. So, and I've been trying new foundations. So I just recently got these cute, itty little Jouer foundations. It's the Essential High Cover Cream Foundation, but it's buildable and I love it. I'm not wearing it today because I was in a hurry and I just threw something else on. But it's really good. I really like it. Okay, so let's try it. I know we're not talking about that one. So it's got a little pump. Oops, I hope if I take it to the screen, huh? Come on. <laughs> well, my pump might be broken. I mean, what's the point of doing a pump on a squeeze bottle? Well, I guess you can pump everything out if it works. Wait a minute. I, f I hear it. Okay. That is the foundation. And let's see how it covers. Okay. See, I wonder if I could, cause see, I really don't like thick, heavy, but you know, maybe I've been using the wrong color. Let's see, is that my color? I think it'll work, right? I don't know, I like it, what do you guys think? I mean, obviously, it's gonna look different on my hand than my face, but kind of looks nice, like kind of like nice and smooth, you know? But I can still see like maybe my veins and stuff, so maybe if I do it light. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm <laughs> I got something in another box that I just opened that I'm very excited about as well, and I feel like will go well with this. But I'm not gonna tell you, you gotta watch my BoxyCharm when I put it up. I think I'm putting my BoxyCharm up before this, so you will see. Okay, so this retails for $39.50 and I love, 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 love that it has SPF in it because I always forget SPF and I'm trying so good. I'm trying so good. I'm trying so hard not to forget the SPF, to put SPF on. So $39.95 and then we have the Ahava Hydration Cream Mask. This retails for $33. We have the Suba Beauty Liquid Chrome Illuminating Drops. This retails for $26. Oh, I guess I could tell you a little bit. Um, let's see. Okay, the cream mask, it says it's infused with deep sea water. It's a mineral-rich mask. It helps brighten and hydrate your skin and while drawing out impurities. Um, and then the hydrating, or the hydrating, the illuminating. I'm kind of all over the place. I'm sorry, guys. I've had, I said it in another video, but I could say it again. We had some some just sad stuff happened in the, our family and very sad, very devastating, very, um, all of a sudden. And so it's been a very couple, you know, the last couple of weeks have been, been, a uh, kind of stressful and I've kind of been all over the place. So, um, haven't slept much. <laughs> and so if, you know, if you have the time, you know, please just keep my family in your prayers. They could use it. Okay, so, sorry not to bring this down. I'm just let you know why I'm like probably a little all over the place and out of there. So the illuminating drops, um, it says summer's a time to shine, this liquid highlighter. And why can't you do, I mean, you don't need highlight for just summer. I'm just saying. I'm getting a little obsessed with highlight and I want it all the time. I'm using it in the winter. I don't care if it's snowing, raining. Yeah. Um, it says it gets you glowing from head to toe. Ooh, I could use it on the body. I picked up the KKW body shimmer stuff and I like it. I had to try it. I'm not, I've never tried anything by her before, but um, I got that. I didn't unbox it though, because I just had, I should have, huh? 
I should have unboxed it and tried it on, but anyways. Um, what else was I saying about this? Okay, it says, shake well for an all-over glow. Mix two to three drops into your moisturizer or foundation. Now, I would have never thought about that. I should, I'm going to try that. I'm going to try to mix it in with the foundation and see how that works. For a highlighted effect, dab on the high areas, cheekbones, cupid's bow, nose, bridge, and blend. I should do, no, I'm not going to do it right now because I already have powder on and that probably won't be good. And this retails for $26, I believe I already said that, so sorry guys. Um, we've got the Tarte Dream Big eyeshadow palette and this just says from brunch to the boardroom this portable eight shade palette was designed to serve unlimited looks with a mix of metallic and mattes formulated with amazonian clay and non chalky powder blends like a breeze a uh, blends like a breeze and controls oil lids plus is 100 percent cruelty free which is cool so there's that and that retails for 30 dollars and where'd my brushes go last thing is is my fair up brushes and these say, show me magic eye, eye brush set. Quality brushes change the game, created by a team of beauty lovers. Farrah eye brushes feature luxe synthetic fibers to make your shading, blending, and cut crease to the next level. This five piece set is 100% vegan and cruelty free. So you can get that, uh, you can get that feel good glow up, glow up. Tip it, okay. And then, wow, these retail for $50. Now I feel bad for saying they felt a little light, but I like them. I do like them. So very cool. So uno momento. Okay, I'm back. I just totaled it up and the uh, this cost me $25 for this box. I am very happy with it. I mean, I, I, I it was a good box. I think it was a good box. I like it. Um, my retail value is $178.50. I think that's a good box for a good value. So let me know what you guys think. Did you get